Well, good morning, everybody. We are live. Come join me this morning for another devotion. It is 10.34 a.m. on this um, Black Friday. Uh, uh, on this beautiful, sunshiny Friday. Let's, let's just label it that way. It is the 23rd day of November 2018, day after Thanksgiving. <clears throat> Hope everybody had a blessed Thanksgiving day and, and enjoy your Thanksgiving weekend. And I'm still here at work. Now, I, I got to leave, <laughs> but I'm back today. I'm off this weekend. So give you a few moments to get on here let's get on here and, and look at another devotion um i wasn't planning on coming on so late i had a devotion that i was wanting to work on but for some reason it just didn't feel like it was the right time to um do that devotion and i really feel like the lord was leading me in this way in this direction so um i had to take some time to study so that's why I'm, I'm kind of running, not too late, it's only 10.30. Morning Kent Bentley, morning hi Trish. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to look at a very familiar scripture, but there's one word that I want to look at this morning and, and really focus upon, and we'll get to that in a moment. So... Let's go ahead and get started with our devotion. John 3, 16. You all know it by heart. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. I posted a, um, a status last night, um, and, and I posted the scripture of John 3, 16. And somebody had commented on it, um, on, on the verse, and had said that the pastor had told her son, um, you know, about the scripture that a lot of people actually misinterprets it. And, and you know, I, I, and she was telling me what she had told him, her son, and I agree with what she told her son. Um, but that kind of prompted me to really study, and, and this word in this whole entire verse the one word that today that pops out of my mind is believe. And I want to address that thought this morning um, and focus on the one word believe. Because I think sometimes we misinterpret what um, that word really, really means to us. Um, and oftentimes, if you ask the question, you know, do you believe in God? Do you believe in Jesus? It almost sounds like we're asking in the same manner as if you believe in Santa Claus or the Tooth Fairy or the Easter Bunny or something like that. You know, do you believe in Santa Claus? Do you believe in Jesus? People, when they ask about if you believe in Jesus, almost the question turns into, do you believe in their existence and I don't believe that this is what the scripture is referring to when we must believe on Jesus Christ we don't have to it's, it's more than just saying I believe that God exists I believe that Jesus Christ exists um, I think the question is is deeper than that you know I, I really do it, it's not we're not questioning if if God or or Christ is has ever existed on this earth or still exists but believe is is used here in a deeper meaning in a deeper term and I kind of want to give shed a little light on um, the word believe and the true meaning you know so when we ask the question do you believe that Jesus exists or do you believe that Jesus is real that's not what we're really asking because you know there's too many um, scriptures and there's too many um, too much proof to ever doubt God's existence ever doubt Christ's existence I know a lot of people don't believe um, 
but the reason why they don't want to believe is they know that if they believe, they have to change. Let's just be real. That's why a lot of people don't believe in the Word of God and they don't believe in you know Christ and, and, and His message is because that means that forces us to look at ourselves and forces us to change, and people don't want to change. But, you know, so the question isn't, do we believe in Jesus as if he exists? But this is the true meaning of the question is, do you believe that Jesus Christ is who he says he is in the Bible? Or who the Bible says he is? You know, are you fully, completely trusting him as your Savior? That's When I ask you, do you believe in Jesus, that's what I would mean. I'm not asking you, do you think that he's real? Do you think he's existing you know, or has existed? You know, I'm asking you, do you believe that he's your Savior? Do you believe that Jesus Christ is what the Bible describes? Do you believe that's who he is? Um, here's some, a few questions for you. Do you believe that Jesus is God in human form? If you say no, look in John chapter 1, verse 1, and... And then verse 14 in the same chapter, it tells you that in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, verse 14, and the Word became flesh. You know, so Jesus Christ, the Word, is the Son of God, um, and He is God. He's human form of God. Um, second question, do you believe that Jesus was born of a virgin? Look in Matthew chapter 1, verses eight through 18 through 25 to give your answer there. Another question would be, do you believe that Jesus died on the cross to pay the penalty for your sin? Look in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 3 and 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 21 for your answer. Do you believe that the sacrifice of Jesus is the only adequate payment for your sins? Again, there's scripture that tells you yes in 1 John chapter 2 verse 2. St. John chapter 14 verse 6 and the book of Acts chapter 4 verse 12. And, and these will give you scriptures to, to um, back up um, that Christ did. You know, he, he, was the, he was God, not just a part of God. Um, scripture will tell you that he was born of a virgin. Scripture will teach you that he did die on the cross to pay your sin debt. Verses scripture would tell you that he did rise, raise again on the third day. You know, so there is proof of this. And I want to tell you something. If you believe that Jesus is real, if you believe that the Bible is true about Jesus Christ, you know, that's great. But listen, that's only half the battle. That's only half of it. Because a lot of people believe that Christ exists, but they don't believe him as their Savior. And listen, that is a, that's two different things. You can believe that Jesus is real and still not believe him as your Savior and trust him as your Savior. And let me give you this, you know, because, you know, believing these facts about Jesus, like I said, is, is just part of it. But we must come to a biblical belief, a bibli biblical faith in these truths if we're going to receive salvation. Bible teaches us all the time about having faith. Bible teaches us all the time that when we ask of something, we must ask in faith, believing. That if we ask without believing, then we're just wasting our time because we're just asking in a miss. You know, we're, we're not really showing faith if we don't believe what we're asking for. If we say, yes, I believe that Jesus is real, but no, I don't believe he's my Savior, then you're missing out. And let me give you an example real quick um, about what a biblical faith is. And I use this analogy several times over the years, but if you walk over and, and you see a chair sitting in the middle of the room, you know, how many of us... Now, there's been occasion where I've seen a rickety old chair and I've questioned if it's going to hold me, especially when I was 370 pounds. And I'd look at that chair and say, oh, I don't know about that. And I'd kind of test it. But most of the time, when I walk in somewhere and I want to sit down, I don't examine the chair and, and, or the church pew or anything else. I usually just walk in and, and sit down. And this is what's, what I consider a biblical faith. You know, you can look at a chair and believe it will hold your weight when you sit in it. But biblical faith is actually sitting in the chair. 
And the same way with biblical faith when it comes to Jesus Christ. You can say until you're blue in the face, I believe there's a God, I believe there's Jesus, you know, I believe that, you know, he, he walked the earth and that he was the son of God. But if you never accepted him as your savior, then you've not used biblical faith. To have biblical faith in Jesus Christ is accepting Christ as your savior, not just admitting that he's the son of God or that he's real, or that he exists. So we need to use our biblical faith by sitting in that chair, by accepting Jesus Christ. So let me throw these questions at you real quickly. And it simply are these. Are you trusting that Jesus is your Savior? Are you relying on his death as the full payment for your sin debt? Are you depending on his resurrection as the guarantee that you one day when you die will be raised to eternal life? Or are you just believing that Jesus exists? Folks, listen, there is a difference. Look in John 3, 16 again. It said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. Now listen to this. That whosoever believeth in him. More than just believe that he exists. But do you believe that he, was, that he is God? A part of God, however you want to word it. Do you believe that he died for your sins? Do you believe that on the third day he rose from the grave? Do you believe that he died for your sins? Do you believe that he'll be your savior? There's a big difference. And that's my question this morning. Look in, I've got some verses I want to end with. Romans chapter 10 verse 9 and 10 it says this, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 and 9 simply says this, For by grace are ye saved through faith. Faith is a form of believing. And it says, And that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Look in Acts chapter 16, verse 31. And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved in thy house. And lastly, let's look in Mark chapter 16, verse 16. It says, He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned or condemned. Mm -hmm. Folks, listen. It's more than just admitting that Jesus is real. It's more than just admitting that, yeah, he walked on the earth. And, you know, listen, the Jews, many, many Jews believe that Jesus existed. They believe that he was maybe a prophet, you know, a good man, a good teacher. But many of them don't believe that he's the Son of God, the true Messiah. One day they'll believe that. Folks, listen, it's more than just saying, oh, I believe that he exists. You need to believe that He's your Savior. You need to believe that He died on the cross for your sins. And that if you confess with your heart that He will forgive you. That's what you need to believe. It's more than just saying, I believe that He exists. Folks, so today, believe on Jesus Christ. Because John 3.16 says that whosoever believeth in Him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Folks, we won't die a, a, a spiritual death if we believe don't get me wrong we just because you're saved and you believe in Jesus Christ and you accept him as your Savior doesn't mean we're exempt from dying in this body but we will never perish in our spirit we our spirit that's who we are this what you're looking at what you see now that's just my house that's just a shell that's gonna go back to the dust but who's speaking and 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 the um, energy that you feel that's me inside the soul the spirit of man will live forever and ever for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life listen believe on Jesus and be happy 
be saved today. Listen, that's all I got for you. Um, Lord willing, we'll be back on with another devotion Monday morning, unless something changes or whatever. Um, have a blessed weekend. Um, hopefully you didn't have too much turkey. I sure gobbled till I wobbled, but well, I can't eat much these days, but what I did eat was good. So anyway, listen, thanks for watching. Believe in Jesus Christ, not just that he exists, but he died for you, that he saved you. Believe on that. And I'm telling you what, you'll be blessed. All right, listen, love you. Thanks for watching. Share this video if you don't care. Love you all.